All right. I haven't done one of these for a while. Uh, it's June sixteenth. Corona blog time. Uh, things have gotten pretty stressful, so I actually, I actually uh, started meditating, and, and I called my dad and asked him about it, and he said, you know, just focus on your breathing, and do it, which is easy for me because uh, my nose whistles when I breathe, so. Um. It works pretty good. Um, things are starting to come alive again in Minnesota. Um, there's a lawnmower going constantly, so that's a, that's a good sign. It means people are out. Uh, the thing that has happened since the last time I talked to you guys was uh, George Floyd. And he's one of a uh, countless number of uh, blacks who were murdered by the police basically and uh, it's it's unfortunately unfortunately um, created a huge awareness of just how bad racism racism is in our country and there's been uh, some incredible protests that have gone on um, there's been some violent protests there's been some peaceful protests 90% uh, of them are peaceful but unfortunately, 10% of the people do 90% of the damage, and um, the jury's still out. But I'm I'm pretty convinced that the 10% that did all the damage really is some enraged people, which uh, that's what it takes to get things going. And there's also some people inciting stuff out there. But the fact is, is uh, the time has come. I mean, I've never seen any racial changes at all, and. Uh, I've been around a long time, so I hope this I hope this one works, and uh, we're doing our part as a family, and and, and that's it. So um, I do have some uh, some jokes that I need to get out of the way because COVID's going to be I don't know if it'll be gone soon, but these uh, these jokes won't mean crap later on. Um, so uh, one of the things I wanted to point out was. Pence, the vice president, went to see a uh, visit a, a motor plant a while ago, Ford Motor Company, and he went against their policy to wear a mask. So everybody was wearing masks but him, and, and his logic was, you know, I want to look them in the eye when I tell them how much I, I appreciate them. And it's like, well, they're not blindfolds, Mike. Uh, he said, no, 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 I, I want him to see the expression on my face. Okay, you, you don't have an expression. Okay, it's all one expression. Happy, sad, orgasm. <clears throat> That's it. That's all you've got. Um, so one of the things, you know, wear a mask. Uh, that's that's going to prevent a lot of issues um, and help us get out there sooner. Unfortunately, people turn the mask into kind of a political thing. And then there's people just kind of wear them under their chin, which... Uh, is an interesting way to wear it. It's more like a chin hammock. Um, they look kind of like wrestlers out there, or like they cut themselves really bad shaving. Uh, some people carry them with them, which is like when you ride a motorcycle and you have a helmet on the handlebars. You don't wear the helmet. Uh, it works just about the same, the same way. Um, there was a pedestrian accident at the airport. A uh, plane hit a person. Um, I would imagine that if a plane's landing, it would be hard to get out of the way. But if it's just taxiing, I think that's you know, that's that's a large object. So they've started putting bumper stickers on the planes to say uh, "Start Seeing Airlines," and that's that's really helped a lot. So I've been I've been happy to see that. Um, being home with the kids, uh, teaching them a lot of life skills. You know, teenagers teenagers they know it all. Uh, unless you ask them what they want to eat or what they've been up to um, or how they feel about something and they, then they don't know but um, life skills are important and, and I, I want to emphasize that when you're teaching a teenager life skills uh, it's not changing the oil okay that's that's not the life skill you want the life skill you need to teach these kids is how to use a plunger okay that's that's the one you know plug the toilet I don't know so make sure you do that. Um, 
that's really about all I have. You know, we're in uh, uncertain times, unacceptable times, unprecedented times, unemployment times. There's a lot of un out there. Um, but the, the the racism issue is the is the it completely overrode what we were going through with COVID and uh, and I'm just hoping that it that it works out. So to my grandkids out there who may be watching this and learning about what we were going through here, um, this is one of the most intense and incredible times uh, in my lifetime, and I just hope that what comes out of it is is positive and that this uh, brutality will stop um, profiling racism will stop uh, particularly towards black people who just just get hammered all the time um, to give you a quick example kids before I go um, if you're a white person and you walk outside and go to get in your car and go drive somewhere that's it that's what you do you go to the store when you come home. If you're a black person, when you walk outside, you're immediately on guard. And when you get in the car and you start driving, there's a 50-50 chance you're going to get pulled over because you're black. And when you get pulled over, there's a good chance you're going to get harassed, questioned, um, and there's all kinds of evidence out there and you can talk to anybody. If you go to the store, you're probably going to get followed. Um, it's just a, it's total bullshit, and I'm hoping that it completely goes away, because as a uh, white male, um, I don't have shit to worry about in this country, um, but I'm worried about that, so that's the shit I'm worried about, is, is, uh, is what's happening to other people, so, um, kids be cool, and, uh, talk to you soon.